Since the dawn of cinema, filmmakers have committed their minds, bodies and souls to their art. Film reviewers, on the other hand, are a bunch of feckless dickheads who walk around getting paid millions of dollars telling the rest of us what to think. We are method film reviewers. We follow in the footsteps of method actors like Daniel Day-Lewis in Lincoln or Robert De Niro in Raging Bull. Artists who transformed their minds and bodies to deliver some of the most magnificent performances in cinematic history. We will apply the same amount of dedication to the reviewing process to create the first ever Method Film Review. And so today, we turn our attention to 2016's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Out of the Shadows. This is why we're here. Beneath the streets of New York, New York, the city's so nice, they named it after the Duke of York. We have uprooted ourselves and entered the world of the movie. For the next five days and four nights, our home will be the abandoned Eastern District subway station. Here we will endeavour to live like the turtles, so that we may understand the world, emotions, intent and art of the film. We will watch the movie three times each day and subsist entirely on pizza, like the Ninja Turtles themselves. After each viewing, we will give the film a thumbs up or thumbs down rating and arrive at a final score at the end of 15 watches. Welcome to Tim Bat and Guy Montgomery present Method Reviewing, a journey into correct cinematic critique and assessment. What the fuck is this? It's a van that the nerdy ones made without the knowledge of any of the other three turtles, which seems incredibly unlikely to me. There's four turtles. Their superpowers are strong, Ralph, smart, Donatello. His name's not Ralph. Raphael. You call him Ralph. Yeah, he calls himself Ralph. No, they call him Ralph. Are you serious? They're not calling him Ralph? It's crazy that this movie tries to make rollerblading cool. It's so back to thinking that Raphael is somehow called Ralph. Yeah. You know that all of the turtles are based on Renaissance painters. Yes. So you imagine in Renaissance Italy, all of the other Renaissance artists would say, hello, oh hello Leonardo, ah, and uh, Donatello, and of course you, a Ralph. Well when you say it like that, you're making me sound stupid. Hey, watch one. We did it. Guy Montgomery. Tim Bat. What do you make of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Out of the Shadows? It's impossible to say. You're right. Let's watch the movie again. Right now. And now, the worst idea of all times, plot synopsis. What happens? Uh, four turtles with the help of Megan Fox and a really terrible cop who used to be good at ice hockey and then yes. just stopped playing ice hockey and became a bad cop uh, literally the only thing that stands in the way of uh, a mutant brain called Krang voiced by Ray Romano's brother So you know my name It is 25 pounds of plot in a 5 pound right. film Is this a good movie? It delivers, delivered on everything It was funny, there was action, there was too much story I don't even really know what was going on a lot of the time that's the hallmark of a great film. A great film is a film that is so poorly told it requires you to inspect it again. Yes. Well, Tim, I feel we've concluded our review. I would like from you now your definitive rating for Screening 2. I'm giving it one thumb up. I would score this movie one thumb up, one thumb down. That is no thumbs. No thumbs. It's an innovative way to show that too. I like that. After six hours underground, we were starting to get a bit peckish, so we did what the turtles would do. Good evening, Mike. That is pizza. Can I order a couple of pies, please? I want one margarita and one Italian flag. Okay. It's a manhole cover on the corner of 8th and 15th. 15 to 20 minutes. All right, thanks, man. Bye. Oh, but you know that uh, birthday present that you made for me? The watch, yeah. Okay, if you're in a bar in a hotel and someone busts out a 3D holographic projection wristwatch, are you not going to be like, what's well, going on there? I would accuse Megan Fox of bad spy work here, yeah. <laughs> hey man, Hello. how you doing? You ordered the delivery? 
Thank yeah. you very much. Cool. Keep the change, man. Have a good night. Good night. Where's Raph? We've seen the movie for a day now. Did you like it? You know, I know what we're doing is, is smart, but I can't tell you if I like a 15 chapter book after I've read three chapters. You've read 45 chapters of a 15 chapter book now. No, I, I think I've read three chapters of a 15 chapter book. And? It feels like the chapters just don't change. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Out of the Shadows third watch gets from me negative one thumbs. Yeah, went down. Uh, after seeing it for the third time, I would like to give that particular screening a score of Negative thumb. I genuinely don't know what I think of the movie. With that, our first day of method film reviewing drew to a close. New York City may never sleep, but we must. For we have work in the morning. The work of method film reviewing. Good night, Tim. Good night, Guy. I'm gonna fart. Mm. Wakey, wakey. Who's ready to review Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles again? Tim. Oh. You can't order pizza at nine o'clock in the morning. How'd the movie make you feel on the fourth watch? I like it better when we watch it with the couch up. We've got back support. Guy Montgomery, what was your shining light of this fourth screening of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Out of the Shadows? To my shining light was a point in the film when uh, all of the turtles have their weaknesses and strengths highlighted to them by one of the other turtles. What I think would be a good exercise is if I do a strength and weakness for you and you do a strength and weakness for me. You can say a nice... Strength? Yeah. You are physically here. Can't argue. Weakness? I don't want to say everything else, just most of everything else. Uh, I got one for you. A good strength of yours is you're very thin, which means when we lay down together, it's good for my body. A weakness of yours, I've written here attitude. I think that your attitude is quite weak at the moment. And so that's something, I guess, to work on, isn't it? Your attitude. What yeah. I just saw felt entirely different from what I've seen before. I couldn't agree more. We open in action. This is a film that's purportedly about four turtles. Upwards of 40 to 50 cars are destroyed in this film. Fantastic. 50 cars, Tim. Do you know how expensive a car is? Some of those were European. Three, four hundred dollars? North. Tim? I'm so excited, I want to try something that we've never done before. Okay. On the count of three, we'll review the movie simultaneously. All right. One, One two, two, three, two, two thumbs, thumbs up. up! Okay. Can we move? Good night, Guy. Good night, Tim. Are you asleep? Not really. And I don't know about you guys, but uh, that's slow. So I don't know about you guys, but I've been uh, you know, thinking a lot about uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles out of the shadows recently. The, these Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles are uh, more like Teenage Mutant Ninja Virgins. <laughs> as far as I can tell, uh, no one will fuck them because they're so hideous. So they're all virgins. Thank you, you've all been great. I'm Guy Montgomery. Have a good night. Have you read this? What is it? It's today's paper. The Sewer Gazette. Mm. You're on page two though. Comedy night spoiled by virgin shaming comedian. A wonderful evening of stand-up comedy featuring the most popular man in the abandoned subway, Tim Bat, was undercut by the offensive, virgin-shaming ramblings of New Zealand comedian Guy Mo This is bullshit. Those jokes were funny. You were laughing. Yeah, I enjoyed them. I thought you did great. But this reviewer, I mean, poof. Tim, obviously you are the reviewer. No, I don't write the paper. 
This story is Tim Wynn's popular vote and survey. Yeah. You're Crimes not... committed in toilets. The only person quoted in the story is Tim Bat saying this is a disgrace and I didn't do it. Well, that's just good journalists doing their job. You wrote this. Nah. Oh no, I got a bad feeling about things for this messenger. He's about to fall straight into the honey trap. The faux schoolgirl honey trap. Now, a character I'd like to uh, delve into with you is Kevin, the pizza guy. And it's right at the beginning where uh, all four turtles are careening through New York City on their way to a Knicks game, and they grab a pizza on the fly from a delivery man who's looking on his phone. Kevin is the vehicle through which they get pizza. They're addicted to pizza. He's essentially their drug dealer. They grab the pizza, thank you, Kevin, see you next week, but not really, that's just how we greet people on their merry way. They're protecting one another by maintaining their anonymity. And that is a theme readdressed later in the movie by Leo, the leader, when he's explaining to Raphael that no, you don't get to hear about the purple ooze that will turn us into humans because you're not ready. See, these you're, are you're the, 14, you're an adolescent. These are Your the, body's changing. These locked gems are not visible to the untrained eye. It requires a good five, six, seven watchings of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles out of the shadows to get what they were putting down. But do you think it's important what we're discovering? Undoubtedly. We are... Panning for gold. You don't discover gold by going down to the gold mine one time and going, oh, there's no gold here, didn't find any. You'd embarrass yourself. If you went back to the village and said, don't worry everyone, no need to pan for gold down there, I checked. Do you know what we say? Uh, why don't we go back 15 fucking times? No one else understands what we're doing. No one else would. You try and explain all of this? I tried. You know what my mum and dad said? What? I love you, boy. Get out there. They think I work in a bank. I can't do math. Wait. The sun's coming up. You can't this is classic Megan Let Fox. Me I want the turtles all to myself. You're not allowed upstairs when it's light. Dude, the turtles can go above ground. They just can't do it in the daytime. Do you know what that means? At sunset, we ride. We emerged above ground for the first time in 72 hours. Just as the Turtles' adventure began at a New York Knicks game, so would ours. Massive square gun. Oh god. We did it. Yes. We're gonna sneak in there like the Turtles. Excuse me, sir. How you doing? We're just trying to sneak into Madison Square Garden to see the Knicks play. Do you know? Guys, I don't have time for this. Get out of here, please. We just want to get snuck in, sir. There's no way you can help us get in there to watch the New York Knicks play basketball. You two need to leave now, or I'm calling the police. We came a long way. You know, in the movie, they're always blowing up cars. We should explode some cars. Well, we can't do that. Well, we could disrespect some cars. Look at this. What's this extra bit? It's embarrassing. Hey, car. Lose your extra bits, you dick. What is this, a car or one of Shaquille O'Neal's new shoes? Is European? Well, like, I want to pee on you, because you... In what world is what you're doing right now similar to exploding a bunch of cars? You know what the worst part is? What? I'm gonna go... back on the ground now. You see today's paper? Mm-hmm. Yeah, my letter to the editor get printed? Oh yeah, write a little letter, did you? Mm-hmm. Letters to the editor? None received. Why didn't you print my letter? I don't work for the paper guy. I just received the paper. I'm sorry I didn't make it in. Is Guy Montgomery a bad guy? All signs point to yes. This is you! No, it isn't! Yes, it is! The film. Ah. Oh. Always with the film. Oh, the film. Yeah. What did you think about the film? Tim, I want to talk about us. Let me ask you this. Shoot, shag, marry the four turtles. And then one of them you also marry, but you get an annulment. I would murder Raphael, and then with a thirst for turtle blood, I would murder Leonardo, a leader whom I haven't respected pretty much since day one. I would then marry Mikey in an attempt to make it up to the two remaining turtles. That wouldn't work out. We're a couple of goofballs, all right? We need somebody who's actually going to do the dishes. 
That marriage ends in annulment. Then me and Donatello make a real fist of things. Maybe we move to Italy. Venice. Word association. First thing that pops into your head. Easy. Donnie. Turtle. April. Turtle. Shredder. Turtle. Turtle? Turtle. Guy? Turtle. Tim. Piece of shit. Ninja. Turtle. Teenager? Turtle. Tim. Incompetent. Shredder. Turtle. Tim. Mediocre. Guy? Great. Triangle. Turtle. Green. Turtle. Tim. Bed hog. Tim. Buffoon. Tim. Mentally enfeebled. Tim, why was your shining light this morning? Bebop's nipples. And I think you know the scene that I'm talking about. What was your shining light? Laura Linney. A powerhouse from Laura Linney this morning. Quintessentially Laura Linney. And I say that as someone who has not seen it in a single other movie. We had hit a wall. What we needed was to see the movie with fresh perspective. So we invited the film's target audience to watch with us. Everyone keep following me, please. Leonardo has the weirdest eyes. What was your favorite part? I remember the Brazil part very well. I like that part. What do you think the theme of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Out of the Shadows is? Turtles who think they're smart enough to do stuff that they really can't do because they're just turtles. Fighting, eating pizza, and being weirdos. Yes? I think the theme is like family and friendship. True. I don't know. I just think it's a pointless movie that has no theme. And what do you think about what we're doing? I mean, it's five, five days of your life you're not getting back, right? Tomorrow, would you rather go to school or would you rather do what we're doing? Well, I'd rather go to school because I have a lot of projects and stuff. I'd rather go to school because we have a half day and this is disgusting. Do you understand that what we're doing is important? Not really. What we do after we watch the movie is we go over to our review center and we review the film. Would anyone like to come over and review the movie with us? Sure. Who yeah? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it sounds like a pretty pretty fun idea, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I bet that'd be fantastic if we all, all go over and review the movie together. Yeah. Well, that tells me that none of you Philistines have learned a goddamn thing since we came down here. Because what did I tell you? You cannot review a movie after you've seen it once. Timbat. What did you think of the movie Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Out of the Shadows on the screening? And more specifically, what did you think some of the themes of the film were? Something changed this watch, and I couldn't put my finger on what. The film I now know, after this 12th watch, is about turtles who think that they're smart enough to do things that they're not smart enough to do. When they went to Brazil. I really liked when they went to Brazil. It's about weirdos. It's also about family. And it's also ultimately pointless and there is no theme. Mm. I felt like tomorrow I don't want to be here. Mm. I want to be at school tomorrow instead because there's a half day and I have a lot of projects to get to. Well, if you've only got half a day to get to all your projects, I can understand why you'd want to be at school. With just one night of our quest remaining, we now knew exactly how our countryman Sir Edmund Hillary must have felt the night before he conquered Mount Everest, the tall lady. Have you read the paper? There is no paper today. Huh. Then what's this? The Tunnel Tribune. Mm. The abandoned Eastern District Station's number one paper. Mayor Montgomery helps feeble man. On his first night in office, Mayor Montgomery helped feeble resident Tim Bat into bed. Bat said, I love my mayor. You are not my mayor. Hmm. Not what it says in the paper there. I didn't get a vote. Someone should write a story about that. 
We woke up surrounded by water this morning because it's been a very heavy downpour in New York City and I finally feel like I'm part of the movie now. Like I'm right down there in the sewer with the turtles. Can I tell you a truth? Always. I've done three poos in the last five days. How did they look? People knows where to find us. Well done, turtles. Now that you have saved all of planet Earth, you're allowed to live above ground if you like. Do you feel welcome now? No. no. We just wanted the gold what key. What is that? It's over. Not before a superfluous shot of the turtles celebrating in the torch held aloft by the Statue of Liberty. We were heroes. 15 screenings, 120 hours underground, and we weren't finished yet. Before revealing our final and conclusive rating, we had one more piece of business. We'd managed to line up an interview with two of the film's biggest stars. Thank you so much for coming here, you guys. I really appreciate it. Thanks for taking for the time. Us. I'd just like to double down on what Tim said and say thanks a lot for, um, for taking the time um, to come and speak with us. Holly, mm -hmm. as someone who plays a character in the film who's in close proximity to April O'Neil, <laughs> Did your character feel a journalistic vibe emanating from that character? Mm, from April, yeah. She definitely was in her role as someone who wanted to know things and had a little bit of stealth as well. How nice is this room, by the way? Can we all just... The, uh, the temperature? Absolutely. Forget about it. How does that chair yeah. feel? Perfect. Derek, every time I've watched, I've tried to figure out whether you're the pilot or the co-pilot. Can you settle this for us? <laughs> I am the pilot. Of course. Yes. Now, I got a really good sense from the two to three seconds that you're on screen that right. you're a good guy. And your character's been caught up in some trouble. Right. Okay, so Derek, uh -huh. your plane company was hired by Shredder or one of his associates to fly cargo and you were unaware of what cargo you were carrying on the plane. That is correct. I mean, you are flying this plane from yes. Brazil to the United States of America where they have some pretty heavy federal laws around what you can and can't bring into the country. This is true. If I could sub in there I'm as well, Derek. I'm just a pilot. No one's really just a pilot. Who would yes. have noticed the additional weight carried by a mutant warthog and rhinoceros on board? So, what's going on there? <laughs> I didn't get to see my passengers. I would argue that what you've done is, is, is reckless. Okay. I, hey, yeah. No, 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 no. no. Yeah, but, okay. you know, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, okay, well, can I finish the question? Because yeah, I'm, I'm actually trying to have a conversation I, 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 with I, I, Derek right now. And I, I, so when you talk over me yeah. in front of guests, yes. how do you think that makes me feel? Well, pretty, I think we've got pretty two, small. We've pretty got small two Tim. guests here, okay? This took a lot of effort and you're just coming in pretty hot, okay? Thank you so much for taking the time. You're welcome. Don't thank me. Are you gonna have a question? Go ahead, Tim. Thank you, Guy, I will. Now, Holly, I actually have a question for you, and first of all, I'd like to say thank you so much for taking the time. Now, you look like you wanted to say something then. Thank you, thank you so much for having me. You don't need to thank me. Now, in the film in Grand Central, you and some of the other school girls, you're, all, you're posing for photos, mm -hmm. and at one point, you're posing for photos with a, a pharaoh yeah. and yeah. a scarecrow. Mm -hmm. You are aware the cowboy character is, of course, Trevor, who yeah. is ferrying the information on behalf of Baxter Stockman to Shredder. Mm -hmm. Does that not make you complicit? To be honest, I don't know the whole... But like, I, didn't watch, I haven't watched it in a while. Uh, Derek, Holly, you know, I, I get the sense that we have extracted all of the information either of you could possibly have. I struggle to foresee a world where we'd get much more from continuing this conversation, you know, in your own time. Um, thanks. Thank you for having us. And so concludes the first ever successful Method film review in the history of cinema. We can now deliver the definitive review of this film. The highest possible score, of course, is 60 thumbs up. The lowest possible score, 60 thumbs down. We tabulated all of our data and we are pleased to announce that the ultimate Method film review of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Out of the Shadows is... Zero Thumbs. Hi, 
I'm Guy Montgomery and I have two simple questions for you. Do you like watching movies and do you like life changing opportunities? Whether you answered yes or no to either or both of my questions, keep listening. I'm Tim Batt and together we have created Method Film Reviewing, a concept so powerful it has transformed us into the world's most successful Method Film Reviewers. Look at your life right now. Pathetic, isn't it? And look at ours. Jealous, right? But you don't have to be jealous because the only thing separating you from success is knowing our knowledge. And now, thanks to our exclusive online course, Tim and I can teach you the methods, secrets, tips, tricks, and methods to deep dive into any movie like the pros do. Just ask any of our satisfied graduates. When Tim and Guy told me that watching movies would change my life, I was ready to believe them, but... No, I don't think method film reviewing is even a real thing. Guy and Tim appear to suffer from narcissistic personality disorders. They are also pathological liars. Did you see that? A doctor! For the reasonable price of just 10 easy payments, you'll receive a watch-along video companion, a DVD player, and photos of some of our favorite snacks. Call now. Operators are standing by. G'day.